unfortunately, it's another 20 kilometers to the worst affected villages, and we're not going to be able to get through in this weather. We're going to have to turn around. There are other villages who are living with this weather a little bit more accessibly, so we will go to them. Happily, we made it to the village of Chahak, where uh, World Vision has a mobile health and nutrition team. The first stage of the assessment is over, and that is making those connections with the village elders and setting up a process by which we can find those who are most in need of assistance, specifically of blank. Excuse me. In need specifically of blankets, uh, which will be delivered on a truck within the next hour or two. One of our midwifery colleagues successfully delivered a little girl just a few hours ago in the midst of this. It's really testimony to the flexibility of my World Vision Afghanistan colleagues that the bad weather started last night and we're in the village really just a few hours later ready to distribute blankets to people who have experienced such extraordinary hardship over the past six months. <laughs> So thanks very much for your ongoing support and everything that you do to make it possible for World Vision Afghanistan to respond in some extremely challenging circumstances.